G'day, mates and everybody else. Here I am. Well, here you are. But here we are. Installing a camera system. Late tonight. It is. It's 8 o'clock. Installing a camera system in this FedEx truck so that it can be parked on site so they can store stuff in it. No, not so they don't steal it. It's a backup camera system. Because insurance wants there to be a backup camera system so that it can be stupid. There's too much fluff in our... That's why everything's collapsing. There's too much fluff in the system. Like, you shouldn't have to have backup sensors on some shit that looks like this. It's too late. But here we are. This is what we do. Kind of been on a not so much interested in, in YouTube kick as of late. Partly because of this bullshit. So, sort of say it's not you guys, it's me. You know, I got banned on YouTube for putting someone's name in the title of my video, which is quite irritating. You know, for a, uh, a week. The guy that works for Alex Jones, whose name, first name would rhyme with how you would uh, row a boat, Rowan, and then last name is Schroyer. Because lots of people's last names are Schroyer, so I guess I can say that. But that really irritated me to the point that I just didn't really even want to, didn't even want to fuck with YouTube for a little bit. Man, y'all can't fit right there, huh? I know what. Do this. Yeah. So anyway, and the whole war thing's kind of bummed me out as far as uh, we were so doing so good on our way to figuring out what was happening, and then this happened. And so I guess my thing would be to say, keep in mind that all these world-changing events are happening so that it's a distraction from the fact that the global monetary system is at the end of its life cycle. That's really the big deal here. And that's like in your Alex Jones was right uh, piggy bank fucking deal. I mean, what's he been saying for a thousand years? You know, there's going to be a global financial collapse and that's how they're going to usher in, you know, with the New World Order comes the New World Order Bank and uh, cashless money system and all that. And that's where we're going. So, it's going to be the war. It's going to be the next thing after the war. But what is, what, what is the key point? Oh, the economy collapsed and there's no food because of Putin and COVID and blah, blah, blah. Not because all the decisions made by the governments ruined everything. So just remember that. But that's the key point I wanted to get across, so I'm gonna continue installing. It's actually quite a quite a fancy camera system here. It's got an overhead monitor. I haven't hooked power to it. There's the existing one. But there's this one. There's two side view cameras. So you get exactly the same thing that your mirrors give you, but on a TV. Because we need TVs everywhere, like I referred to in my last video. We've got to have TVs in the gas pump, you know, TVs in the gas pump to give you propaganda nonstop. Oh, I saw some pro great propaganda on a uh, Bloomberg ad. Yeah, we'll end it here. I saw some great propaganda on a Bloomberg ad where it says, you're going to see a woman put on Mars. And I'm like, what if the first woman on Mars is like a... Um, What's her name? Leah, the swimmer? I can't remember the last name now. But the, the local swimmer from, from Texas, who's the... Leah Thomas, yeah. What if the first woman on Mars is like a Leah Thomas, or a, a Caitlyn Jenner, or a... Um, who's the other award winner? With the teeth, with the black teeth. Looks like uh, the penguin. I can't remember her name. Just won the Woman of the Year award from some bullshit. God, I don't even care about these people. What the fuck is her name? 
Looks like a dude, but it's a woman. Got black teeth. Looks like the penguin. Can't remember. Anyway, it's gonna be a bummer if that's the first woman on Mars, bro. 